With hybrid work and meeting people all over the world, we often need to show someone or a larger group something on our computer. Now that we can work from anywhere, it's important to know how to share our screen. Share your screen if you need to toggle between several applications. You may need to show the process of launching an application or signing into it. There's also times applications we're working in cross-launch another. Last of all, it's easy. Once you're sharing your screen, your audience will see everything. And that is going to lead me to a best practice that I will talk about a little bit later. I'm going to be sharing my screen from my computer, but you can also share your screen from your mobile device and when you're paired to a video conference device. Let's jump over to a meeting already in progress. To start sharing your screen, head to the bottom and click on the share content button. As I click share content, I can see multiple sharing options, including sharing my screen. I have two screen options. I have this due to multiple monitors set up in my office, so I can choose which of them I'd like to show. Before I share my screen, do I have any audio that's associated with what I'm going to be sharing? This is where I'll check the box to share my computer audio. And on top of that, would you like to show yourself sort of like the weather person, on top of the content that you're sharing. If so, check show me in front of the presentation. I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen, so let's choose this one. There you go, it's that easy. I am now sharing my screen. This means every participant in the meeting is able to view my screen and they are going to see whatever I show. When you start to share your screen, you'll notice that you are brought into full screen. You're not going to see some of the panels and controls at the top. You are going to see a floating window where you can access your audio and video controls. You're also going to notice you have sharing controls at the top of the screen. Along with this, there's a preview of what your meeting attendees are actually looking at. Remember I have dual monitors? What if I shared the wrong one? This is where I can verify I'm showing the right thing. And if you want to move these controls around, you can. You can dock them at the top, the left, the right, and the bottom. Now that we've moved them to where we want them, let's see what they allow us to do. Did you forget to share your computer audio? Don't stop sharing your screen. You can go ahead and check that here. Do you want that video to show on your shared screen? You can check that here as well. You can go into an annotation mode. Perhaps you'd like to point things out and highlight. And you can also allow your audience to annotate as well and pass remote control. Remote control is great when you want to give somebody use of the application that you're sharing. You can pause your shared screen. Perhaps you need to grab something and you don't need the audience to see where you go to get it. And this is where you're going to come to stop sharing your screen. I'll stop it now and we'll move on to some best practices. Remember what I said earlier about your audience seeing everything when you share your screen? It's best to have everything closed that you don't want seen. And for time efficiency, have everything open that you would like to show. One of the things I always close is my email and also my messaging app. I also like to turn off those alerts. Don't let those alerts distract you during your meeting. You can turn them off in the app themselves or just close it down altogether. And if you're doing anything instructional, you may want to consider enlarging the size of your cursor. That way your viewers can easily follow along. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit WebEx Academy for more learning options.